Hello everyone, welcome to the control system playlist. In this video, we derive expression for peak overshoot. First of all, we discuss what is peak overshoot. And in last video, we derive formula for peak time and uh, rise time. Here at TP, that is peak time, you can get first overshoot, that is peak, and this overshoot is given by peak overshoot MP. Okay, that is the second time response of second order system. Okay, now we derive expression for peak overshoot. First of all, from this graph, you can Q, you can write MP is equal to C of TP minus one. Okay, from output minus one, you can get peak overshoot MP. Okay, now we know that the expression time response expression of second order system that is given by one minus e raised to minus theta omega and tp upon under root one minus theta square sine omega d tp plus theta okay that is time response of second order system we put this value in this uh, c of tp then we can write mp is equal to this term and minus one okay here plus one minus one cancel so that Remaining term is MP is equal to e raised to minus zeta omega and TP upon under root one minus zeta square sine omega d TP plus theta. Okay, now we know that TP peak time is given by pi upon omega d, which is already derived in last video. You can watch this video, link is given in description. Now we put this value in this place, then we can write MP is equal to minus e raised to minus zeta omega and TP upon under root one minus zeta square sine here, if we put TP pi upon omega d, then multiply omega d, omega d cancel, then remaining term is pi plus theta. Okay, now we know that sine pi plus theta is equal to minus sine theta, so that when we put minus sine theta here, minus minus term is cancel, and remaining term is given by MP is equal to e raised to minus theta omega and TP upon under root one minus theta square sine theta. Now here we already know that formula tan theta is equal to under root one minus theta square upon theta. Then our damping ratio triangle, damping ratio triangle given by, you can see here theta opposite side is given by under root one minus theta square adjacent side theta and hypotenuse is one from this formula okay from this triangle we can write sine theta is equal to opposite side upon hypotenuse opposite side that is one minus zeta square and hypotenuse is given is one so that sine theta is equal to under root one minus theta square okay when we put sine theta here then our formula become mp is equal to e to minus zeta omega and tp upon under root one minus zeta square into under root one minus zeta square upon one Okay, now under root one minus zeta square, under root one minus zeta square cancel and remaining term is e raised to minus zeta omega and tp and tp is given by pi upon omega d. If we put tp is equal to pi upon omega d and we already know damping frequency is given by omega and under root one minus zeta square. If we put here, then our mp is become as e raised to minus zeta omega and and in place tp pi upon omega d and omega d is omega n root one minus zeta square our mp is equal to given by e raised to minus zeta omega n into pi upon omega n under root one minus zeta square okay now omega and omega n cancel and remaining term is e raised to minus pi zeta upon under root one minus zeta square if we convert this formula into percentage then we can multiply 100 so that our percentage peak overshoot is given by 100 e raised to minus pi zeta upon under root one minus zeta square. Many times this theory asked in exam. So students are requested to please practice this question so that you can write very well. If you have any doubt, then you can comment in comment section. I will solve in next video. Thank you very much.